First of all, I'm honored to be here. Um, I, I think this is a prestigious thing. And then it's Black History Month, so I get to present. I, I really love that. Um, so at the same time, as I talk to you guys, I'm gonna give a, a tutorial of what I do with the shoe cleaning. So uh, I'm Roosevelt Lee Flynn, CEO and founder of the Drip Sneakers LLC, which is a buy, sell, trade, consignment shop. Um, so it's located in the central business district of downtown Kalamazoo, uh, 315 North Birdie Street. Um, we specialize, so we have a um, shop with shoes, sneakers, jerseys, jackets, other apparel, but we specialize in shoe cleaning, shoe repair, and restoration. Um, how I started the business, uh, taking back to my childhood and my parents who, uh, uh, my dad, he worked two jobs usually, and my mom, she, uh, she was a teacher, so I got like the blend of both my mom and my dad. Um, she was a teacher who told me about business, she taught me about business, she taught me to use my mind, my intellect, and then my dad just taught me a strong work ethic, so you kind of blend that together, and then, um, and they would never buy me Jordan <laughs> So <laughs> they thought it was a waste of money, but um, I guess I took the work ethic that they taught me, and I began to uh, get creative ways to come up with my own money, but I couldn't get my own Georgias until uh, I went to my grandmother, <laughs> uh, who lived back here in Michigan. We were staying in Washington at the time. So I begged my grandmother, I'm like, man, my friend has a pair of Georgias. Please, 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 just let me get them for $50, please. They usually go for $150. And um, my grandma begged me, <laughs> I called her mom. So uh, she was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them these pair of shoes. So she got me the pair of shoes. And I took care of them. Um, at the time, I didn't know um, I was developing a skill because every time I wore the shoes, I would clean them. I was like, man, I got these drawers. I got to clean them. I got to make sure they look good. I got to make sure they, you know, because I wanted her to buy me more, of course, <laughs> which she did. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I had the skill. Fast forward, fast forward uh, to 2019. I had my son. Excuse me. I had my son Angelo. And uh, he was eight months at the time, and at the time I was working maintenance engineering job, and uh, they got bought out by the sister company. And I was the last hire, and so with me being the last hire, um, they laid me off first. So, and my lease was due the next month. Um, so uh, I had just started doing shoe restoration. I had this on for a friend. And it was, picking moment, it was picking up momentum online, you know, we both were posting. And um, so it was picking up momentum at the same time, I was kind of like losing everything. And then, uh, oh, and yes. <laughs> this kind of explains uh, what happened. For all so I kind of blamed my uh, music skills that I was doing before a negative century. And uh, what would I do in a story kind of explain? Let's start like. Business. I said the first sneakers, 
you know, because uh, literally I was cleaning the shoes and I was seeing the drinks. And I was like, you know what, that would be a good name. Um, so I found the place, uh, May of 2020, 2021, which is exactly two years um, after I started, after I made my first post on Facebook. Um, so one of the first things I did, I started to connect with the community, uh, convention works right next door. Uh, the Boys and Girls Club, I got involved, I showed them shoes, um, cleaning sneaker tutorials, the kids involved in the program. Um, I thought it was important to not just make money with my kids, but to connect with the community, you know, to stay true to myself, you know, to be on my son. And then also when I experienced, uh, you know, homelessness, I saw a lot of people that I wanted to help, right? Um, not help when it grew monetary ways, but and uh, people knew where I came from, they, knew me. they saw me, they saw my struggle, me and my son, and um, I just knew that if they saw me do it, you know what, God gave me to do it for them before, so more than just being someone to speak about uh, what I wanted to do, I just wanted to show, and uh, this is my shop, this is my story now, um, this is from the one pair of shoes, I was able to uh, read the best, and uh, this is some shots of the story right now. And um, so, this is our customers, you know. This is our customers we're blessed to have because of you. We are, remember, started from here, May 5th, 2019. Then here, that's why I was in the hotels. So like I, I was stuck, I was committed to the drip sneakers. I was in the U-Haul right here, <laughs> just moving in between places. That's when I first got my house, and that's when I first got the building. I didn't know what it was gonna be. It was like separated, I didn't know what I was gonna make of it, but it eventually became that. And so, um, God just basically said right there, um, in case you're wondering why I didn't use the word I in here, and it said nowhere in us, in them, or in we, is there the letter I? So. At the same time, the video will be done. <laughs> the shoe is done. I could have did a little better, but it came out pretty good. You guys can see the comparison. I don't know if you can see. I was going to put it on the box and kind of move it around so you guys can see. And yes, that's it. And that's it as far as the video. So, um. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, after after this part, of, uh, like I said, I'll be connecting with the community. Um, right now, I'm looking for some funding to uh, help support me, help support my employees um, during this time, this pandemic, and also um, I just want to to be able to stay stay connected, stay connected with people, and um, just create a better. Uh, one of the things that me meant a lot to me is creating a, not just a different type of shopping experience um, with connecting with the community, but also I wanted to uh, bring a level of passion for business as well as empathy, you know, because it's a lot of people um, that have businesses that are kind of run them technically. Of course, you, you don't, necessarily want to do it like a family because you have to make money, but you can have some family type of uh, structure and uh, it'll still work out. And um, so I got some other notes that I put right here just in case I forgot you guys. Uh, so yeah, one of the things that I did was I got a mentor. I got a mentor and uh, Tom Donaldson, he helped me out. And once I got a mentor, um, I formulated the business. Like I said, I met Mel from the city, um, opened up some relationships. Uh, 
I got chosen on the United Way Business Grant Review Committee, which where we uh, review other businesses in the community to see if they qualify for the uh, United Way grants that are uh, great and wonderful. And I love that because it gives me an opportunity to learn, um, to learn about different sectors of what people do in the community and what the United Way does, but also um, I'm educated on like what uh, bankers want from business owners and what, um, and I get a chance to kind of give my idea of, um, to kind of give a shed a different light on what business owners might go through and entrepreneurs just from a different perspective. And I said, um, I, I'm hoping my mix of passion and empathy, even as an entrepreneur in business, in its own way, change its narrative and hopefully the world. Even if I were to fall short, which is not my expectation, we'll at least connect with souls through souls. Yes.